Samus moves through Sector 2 to confirm the presence of survivors. She discovers the body of one of the soldiers, Maurice, who apparently froze to death. Yeah. A woman appears to be watching the scene from the distance, but when she notices that Samus sees her, Samus, she runs away. Samus gets chased, and the woman runs from Sam. Samus, she applies that Maurice dies at the hands of another soldier. An industrial robot bears down on Samus and the woman, and the person in the cab is wearing a Federation uniform. The woman gets away from Samus in the confusion. Samus destroys the robot, but his operator gets away. Chick and Samus receives new orders from Adam to resume the chase of the ferocious creature and head to Sector 3. And we're just about back at the main elevator. We can go down here, and... We get certain bomb slots that are going to... Drain the sewage like stuff. And, well, once we do that, remember we have the wave beam that can shoot through glass, so if you look here from just the right angle, it looks like it's far away, but <laughs> luckily it's letting us shoot that. Oh, and now here we go. I was talking about this earlier. I don't think there's an item in here. I don't know, this looks like the kind of room that would be an item in. I'm not going to give up on the notion yet. Well, I mean, I, there's definitely an item in here or something because there's a power bomb door right there. No, there's nothing in here. So, yes, this is it. This is the long, long tunnel that I love. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. Right here, this angle. So cool. You could have just done this instead of the elevator shaft. Well, there's nothing cut out for us, but still. So, the other tunnel might have even been longer, but that was just cooler. Um, so that takes us back here, and I don't think we can get back up there, actually, because um, we can do it eventually, but even the shine spark doesn't work since there's no straight line. So now that we're back here, that other there must have been some other door that was blocked. Something that was preventing us. Okay, that was only 225. Kind of thought there was another room before that. I guess not, though, so... I could have just tacked this on at the end of the last one, but well, that was a... No, this can be a video of its own. <laughs> could just upload a three-minute video just for fun, though. With absolutely nothing in it. Alright, alright, let's do it. Let's go to Sector 3. Alright. So this is how we came out of Sector 3. We gotta go back in. Well, you'd think it would be 5, but... When Sector 1 had a level 3 warning, Sector 2 had a level 4 warning, and Sector 3 has a level 4 warning as well. And the last time we went, they were pretty dangerous. Now that we have the various suit, we're going to go back here again. So we managed to get through Sector 2, only dying once on that boss. No other time, so I'm pretty satisfied about that. And now we're back here. And the door on the right, which is the way we got stopped last time, is shut. So we gotta go the other way. This is the way that goes to the crater. And see what there is to do here. This is where we fought the big lava monster. What, what was it called? Yeah, so this is where we started the whole recording. So we pretty much just went full circle. I did Sector 2 in one recording. Wow. It was a long recording, but still. So, no, we're not two-thirds through this game. There's going to be times where we're going to need to revisit the other sectors. At least one big one that I can think of. And there's going to be more, so. And this is Sector 3. I mean, we got a whole sector here. You might think that, oh, we already explored part of Sector 3. Well, part of it, yeah. But other parts of it, no. So where are we going, anyway? Well, there's a navigation boot there, but... Well, the door there was locked. So, it's got to be somewhere else. I hope I didn't miss.
miss my exit. No, it's right here. Miss my exit. So now that we have the shine spark, well, of course, it's going to be a good idea to use this. I'm looking for one of these at the end of the last video, but now that I found one, it's much too soon to end this one. And I was waiting for this. Being able to use the shine spark here. Believe it or not, it's going to make us use the shine spark. <sighs> Hope I wasn't right, running zigzag too much. No, we're going to be good. Yeah. How about that? This game, huh? You never know what it's going to do. You really don't. You'll go back to a room you've been so many times before. You're like, oh, I just can't go through this room. And then there's a freaking mini boss battle here. Well, that's not really a mini boss battle. We didn't have to beat those enemies. And there's going to be another thing in here. So. In case you don't know, that screen, it's kind of hard to tell, many doors look similar, but that screen is showing the door that we wanted, the way we wanted to go to, which was to the east, but we can't go there yet because, well, it was locked, and I think I know who did it. Ah, that was a chance I had. Oh, come on, was I not shooting him right then? I think the wave beam could make this a little easier. No, of course not. Yeah, that doesn't hurt you, it's just kind of a haha -ha, block you. Well, missiles work well against the other guy, which I never knew before. I don't think they work against the flying guy. Well, no, they. Super missiles work well, but I, and I did know that. Am I there? Who's attacking? Oh, that was me. Okay. I couldn't even tell. Right. Yeah, but you did remember the door was flashing yellow, right? And we still can't go that way. I don't know if there's any items over there that we could get with the item we got. I mean, the only item we got in Sector 2... Well, no, we got two items in Sector 2. We got the Speed Booster Shine Spark, which I count as one, and then the Wave Beam. Did we get enough? Uh, yeah. Just about. that much, but let's just save again. How much time? 8.35? Should I be cutting this out? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one thing I don't care for in this game is how, you know, they don't let you take shortcuts and, like, break the rules. Or be a rebel, as some people say, like, you know, like, if you just wanted to jump over there. You know, the invisible walls are helpful, but there are, there are a lot of invisible walls in this game. And sometimes helpful, and sometimes not. We still can't use those, or that, it's only one of them. So it wasn't that long of a trip back. And now we can go through here. We've already been through here. See, we've been through this room twice. And now, look what happens. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, it better be. Interesting thing about this is there's two ways to die here. You can 
die, it kills you, but I think that if you didn't get up there quick enough, or it still might be able to, like, kill Anthony. Like, by pushing him into lava. Because if Anthony falls into lava, then he's automatically dead. That's, that's your chance right there. Go, go. Yeah. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Yeah, so this is the same thing we fought before. So this is going to be something that we see several times. And, you know, it's, we're never going to kill it until after a while. You know, it's, you know, it's always going to run away when it's held as well. Which will mean a temporary win. Yep, that is it running away. And it's a good thing. It would have been perfect. It would, this would have been a perfect opportunity for L. Pierce to make fun of. So Anthony's in trouble, but it's going to tell us about the grapple beam anyway. But... It doesn't do that. It doesn't give you that chance because it's going to wait until after we save Anthony to tell us about the gravel beam. Oh, I really like this cutscene, by the way, so Flashback time, and this is a doozy. Anthony was suppressing. 
and I knew the answer. If something like that happened again, I would hold fast to that glimmer of hope and try for redemption. That's who I am. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a lot to say about that, I guess. At the same time, not much. Well, first thing is there's actually an item over here. No, there is an item over there. It's up there. I just I think we might need to do other things to get it, though, besides just a gravel beam. It'll, you know, it'll involve, you know, using, interacting with that or that. Well, that was quite the story right there. So we know what happened between Samus and Commander Malkovich. The why they had a disagreement, and I think maybe that was why Samus left. Didn't they leave? She leave because of a disagreement? Maybe that was it. I mean... And I certainly understand what she's saying about how, you know, you're sorry you did it, but you would still do the same thing again. I can definitely understand that. I mean, she's definitely right. No one should have to make the choice that Adam did. I mean, that's just, you know, ridiculous. I uh, mean, that kind of pressure right there. You know. You know, it's, You definitely get to learn more about the characters, but you can definitely believe that, you know, that is who Samus is. You know, she's a... She's a doer. <laughs> she doesn't want to, you know, sit back and do nothing. She wants to do everything she can, and it's definitely believable. You know, no matter what perspective you take, that's believable. Okay, that's going to be the end of this episode after that. So, you know, bye.